Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's West Point Lake Willie here. I am coming to you today. When I actually, uh, in my last video, you'll see um, I talk about falling. Well, when I fell, I jammed my Fluger into the mud. And I don't know if you can hear that or see. It's, uh, it's in pretty bad shape. This is the one of the best... Um, this is one of the best reels that I have, honestly. It, this a little, it was a little expensive, more than I normally pay for these. However, I got to get it right. I got to get it clean. So, um, I bought this quite some while back. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago it's been, but I actually, it, it's been probably a year or so. I've, um, got more, um, grease ordered and some more, more cleaning spray ordered. I'm gonna show you this um, in action today. This stuff right here um, comes with this in here. This is a kit. This is a real cleaning kit for spinning in bait caster. It comes with its own toothbrush, with a screwdriver, um, grease, that's butter, that's real butter, oil, and it actually gives you a kind of a detail on where the stuff goes and what it does. Comes with a couple of cleaning sticks in there. Um, uh, the rags and stuff I always use on my own. I get paper towels and you'll see my setup here in just a second Let me switch over to the other camera so you can actually see what's kind of going on. All right So I'm gonna see if I can get this set up so you can see it So basically what we got to do when you first get started here is let me turn off this other camera uh, Basically you take off The line I do it about once a year I stop and I break down and I clean just about everything I have once a year um, and then if something like this happens, I go in and actually do a cleanup. Um, you can see it, it, it's not too dirty. This, however, I felt, I felt when I was taking it off, I felt some grind. There's some dirt in that. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and take the handle off the screwdriver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these side pieces here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that screw here. And, oh, by the way. To show you, the, if you have trouble with this, it's really, really good to line this stuff up the way you took it off. So that way, you'll put it back on the way it come off. So what I'm going to do is, this is all the top end of it. So I'm going to put all my top end stuff, and I'll lay it on the napkin just so it doesn't bang around on my desk. Um, but basically, this thing right here keeps this from slipping. So we we'll take this off gear there we're gonna put that together leave that together pull this part off right here and now we reach in here for this this wrench now I find that sometimes this wrench doesn't fit and I normally keep one or two extras in here um, including a, a little tiny pair of pliers all right so basically what I recommend doing is uh, actually getting a a wrench to fit this. I'm actually going to use a pair of needle nose just to kind of break it loose. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm just twisting that off. And this is going to take the outside of the bell off. That's how I took it off right there. And if you line it up that way, it makes it easier for you to get it back on. So now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to move my camera back just a hair so maybe you can see it, is basically we're going to peel this off right here. This has a little dirt on the outside, but so far, very little dirt on the inside. What I am starting to see here is I've got a lot of dirt in the grease that's in there. So that tells me that I think I've got mud and dirt and grease down inside here. And um, to be able to get the side part off, uh, sometimes there's a screw here, 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 whatever, but there, this one's right here up here inside of it. And see these two, this side come off, and so I'm going to put this one here beside it. And let's see if there's any more screws there holding it in. Doesn't seem to be. This is the actual bearing out of the, the handle that goes in the inside there. So I'm going to set that down there. Here's your gear. All this, all this stuff goes together. However, I've got gunk in here. This is where it's all gotten matte and nasty. Um, at this point, again, like I said, I'm lining it up. At this point, we want to take out this, so we need to take that screw out. I'll get that out. 
So basically you have to pay very close attention to this. This bar here will have a couple of different parts in there. Now it slides out just like that. See, it's actually pretty nasty. It's where water has gotten to it. And in, in the higher end ones, you'll notice that there's extra gears and a lot of moving parts in here. You want to be very careful of this guy right here. If that thing pops out, you're going to be in a mess. So basically what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and break this part down here. And I'll show you once I pull it out. you got to kind of be careful because it has a gear. Uh, it has a certain slot that this sits in, in here. And see how that's pointing down? I want to keep that pointing down. Now, that's all water that's in here. That water and all, I'll just knock that out. I just wanted you to see. We'll put that there so you can see it. But I just wanted you to see how all that water in there, all this grime got in here, and it's actually causing this to uh, um, fail. So I'm going to clean this up, take the next step, and be very careful here and take all this off. Um, one thing you can do when it comes down to this, if you're unsure, always take your, your cell phone and take a picture of it. Like if you, you're unsure where everything goes, take a couple of pictures. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take this top part off because there's, there's some gunk in here and I can kind of feel it grinding when I spin it like this. And see so this, it, it's really ready to come out. So basically you just take this one, one little screw out here and basically now I don't want to lose my spring right here. I don't want to lose that spring so I want to just ease it off real easy because that is the part that you'll lose the most if, when you're doing this the bearing and I don't know if you can tell but I've already began to have rust in there and that's where the grinding's coming from and I'm going to clean all this up all this stuff comes out there's bearings in here that I will clean out with my cleaning spray and grease it back up because with bearings you're going to use the uh, your oil anything bearing related anything that has a bearing anything it has um, like a closed bearings or bearings and anything like that like down in here you'll use that on it all the gears and the actual uh, gears and spinners and all that other stuff you're going to go with the real grease or the, the real oil so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start cleaning these pieces up individually one at a time um, I've got a, I keep a rag I lay it out on a paper towel so it catches not only the grease but it doesn't bang around and when I drop it it don't bounce off and I don't lose it in the floor I'm not going to break it down, but you can if you want to. You just got to be very careful because I have springs in here that sit in this wall cavity here. And if you not if you're not real careful when you take this off, that spring pops loose and getting it back on. You, and it, it, you can you can eventually figure it out, but getting it back on is kind of a mess. Um, all right, I'm going to go as far as I can go. I don't know if you can see that there, but I am almost out of cleaning spray and I am so low on real butter that I'm not sure that I will be able to get through this final one but I will have my other other grease and cleaner coming in tomorrow so if that's the case what I'll do then is I will actually set this up for and leave it here like it is um, I'll clean as much as I can and I'll show you that here now Guys, I don't believe I was recording this whole time. Um, so I'm going to break this back apart and uh, kind of go over uh, some of the things that I've done in the inside since I believe my recording didn't record. Um, you can put too much. Too much is a bad thing. You want just enough. It's kind of an art to find out what the right amount is. You don't want it to cake up and sit there too much. Like this right here, I was, gonna, I was actually in the process of explaining this. Um, you want to make sure that it's on there and it's on there good but it's not overwhelming um, alright so basically what we got here 
Uh, I'll kind of break this down for you real quick again. Um, I put everything back to go up together. I oiled every gear with this new grease that I got. I don't know if that was even, I don't even know if that made it on there. But this new grease I got, I oiled everything with it. I'll show you here. As you can see, I, it's all greased up in there. It ain't too much, but it's enough to make sure that everything stays good and greased. I put all this back together. The bearing that's in the other side, you use bearing oil on that, not the grease. Use this stuff right here. This real oil. Real oil. And so basically, I've greased up everything else. Um, these guys, I put just a little oil on. And then on the shaft here, I put the grease. And on the bearings, I'll go ahead and put a little more uh, since I got a little grease on there. Um, basically, you want to just kind of coat it on both sides. And what that does, it just makes your uh, bearings continue to work. You spin them around in your fingers a little bit to make sure there's no grit. If there's any grit in there, you really need to take them back out and you need to spray them with your cleaner and get all that back functioning without a without a grind in them. Uh, if you can't get rid of the grind, then you need to replace your bearings. Um, other than that, that's pretty much uh, what I've done. I just uh, I did have it on camera to how, how to put it all back together, but um, it's real simple if you just follow what I told you before. These screws are different. If you'll notice that screw is thinner and this one's thicker and it's made of different material. Uh, it's, it's, it's designed that way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of keep going backwards. I've got all this stuff back together. So that's that. That's uh, all right. Well, that's it. That's how you put it back together. When you get done, you wipe it all down, get all the grease off of it, clean it back up a little more. You'll see all your handprints kind of go away, and it is all back together. I hope this video helps you. All right, guys. Um, I probably signed off on the other video, but I want to go ahead and tell you that uh, looks good, smooth. This grease here is a little thicker than the. Um, than the butter, the uh, real butter. So um, to thin it up, if you want to put a little oil on it, you can or whatever, but I mean, it's still just as smooth and back to working perfectly before um, it had gotten to the point where it wouldn't hardly move. I'll release another video, hopefully in the next couple of days, and then it'll be a little slower to release. I am actually going to go fish the flats in uh, Louisiana so I'm I'm hoping that I can do some video there uh, I guess we'll just kind of have to see what happens and we'll go from there hey guys until next time it's West Point Lake Willie tell you keep your hooks ready have fun I'm out of here